welcome back guys so i hope all of you will be fine this is section 6.2 of chapter 6 which is related to the parallel binary adders and today we are going to talk about question 6 okay. so uh, the statement of question 6 is the circuit shown in figure 6.71 so this is figure 6.71 is a 4-bit circuit that can add or subtract numbers in a form used in computers okay positive numbers in true form and negative numbers in complemented form okay so we can see here that it basically adds two four bit numbers or subtract them on the basis of some bit which can be uh, used here if that bit is zero it will add them or if it is one it will subtract it okay so on the basis of it you can see that it can use it as a subtractor or adder okay so uh, there are two parts here in this question so in part a of it we, uh, we have to explain what happens when add uh, complement slash subtract input is high okay if this is high what will happen and what happens when add subtract is low so there are two cases so as uh, i have told you that there are two cases here as well when this is zero it will work as a uh, adder and if it is one it will work as a subtractor but there is one issue which i have found here and that is this bubble okay so the circuits or the gates have been used here are basically you can see that here these gates are in the question statement these gates are what these gates are basically the x nor gates which is basically what which is incorrect okay so in order to perform all the operations very well this gate has to be exclusive or so it must be like here okay so it will be the exclusive or gate and i will show you the reason that why have i replaced them here uh, so why did i replace this exclusive nor with this exclusive or gate and what is the reason behind it so uh, let me tell you the reason of it so uh, when you have two bits just like these one this is one one and this is one zero if you want to add them you will add them uh, as you can do in a simple binary addition that one will be added with the zero okay we can see that it will be added with this zero while this one will be added with it their answers will be here as well okay similarly what if you want to subtract this one zero from one one okay what will happen you have to perform an extra step and that step is basically the complement of this term and that would be the two's complement of this one zero okay so in two's complement what would you do okay so here uh, let me do it here as well so first of all you will write the first one then you have to take the two's complement of this uh, term so therefore in order to find the two's complement first you have to calculate its one's complement so in one's complement the two terms will be inverted so one zero will become zero one okay this will be the first step and after it in order to find the two's complement of it you have to add with it 0 1 so it will become what it will become 0 1 plus 0 1 this will be 0 and 1 will be here it will become 1 0 and then you will have to add this 1 1 with this 1 0 so it will become 1 1 plus 1 0 and these would be added together okay so there would be some additional uh, tasks here and that those tasks will be first you have to write a number then you have to find the ones complement and then you have to add one with it so uh, this would be the subtraction okay so in order to perform it here which gate is suitable and uh, how can we invert the uh, second bit stream okay and also add the ones here that is basically the question and we will try to find out the answer of it so let me first remove all of these okay so okay 
so as we have removed all of them so what will happen we have basically two uh, very special gates and those are basically exclusive or gate okay and what is the truth table for it so if i have a if i have b and if i have the output of it okay so what will be the output in this case if i have 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 so we can see that this is what this is the input combination and what does exclusive r do the functionality of exclusive r is if any of the two numbers is a different okay we have to get output equal to one so in this case and in this case we can see that uh, b is one while zero a uh, while a is zero similarly here a is 1 while b is 0 so we can see that in this combination there is a difference uh, in the combination and therefore we can also get here 1 ok similarly here we can see that this is 0 0 this is 1 1 so uh, these are basically the similar ones so therefore the output here will be 0 as well ok uh, similarly this gate can also be represented by a logic gate which like this one and here we have here a b and the output okay, so this is what this is the exclusive r similarly another gate we have here will be exclusive nor gate okay so in case of exclusive nor gate we have again two combinations two inputs a b and the output okay so uh, the combination input combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so um, as we can see that this is the opposite of it and in this case in the case of the exclusive nor we will get the output equal to 1 if the two inputs are similar okay so these two inputs are similar in case of 0 0 and 1 1 so therefore will be one here and it will be one here uh, here a and b are distinct so it will be zero zero here okay uh, similarly uh, the logic gate which can denote the exclusive or nor condition can be represented here okay and this will be here a b and here the output okay uh, similarly here we can also represent it by output is equal to a with this symbol and this b while here the output is equal to a dot this circular and this so these are the two combinations so uh, this is a very simplified uh, truth table for the exclusive or an exclusive nor but there is another perspective of looking at them okay we can see that here if uh, the input a is 0 the output or the b combinations will be reflected here if a is 0 the output will be equal to the b b and b is at we can get at the output b which is not inverted or in the similar form similarly here we can also see that in another form this a can also be 1 if a is changed into 1 we can see that b can be ref reflected to the output terminal such that b is inverted and gives me this one similarly this one gives me output equal to 0 ok so uh, there is a case that if a is 0 the output is uh, equal to b and similarly if a is 1 the output is the inversion of b so this is another perspective of looking at it similarly in this uh, case where we have exclusive nor we have a equal to 0 we can see that the b will be reflected to the output and that would be the inversion of the input b similarly if b is equal to 1 okay the b will be reflected to the outward and it will be it will remain same okay so we can see that here these are two conditions and in 
each of these two table we can use them as it is okay so in this video i have told you that how to use exclusive or exclusive nor in different conditions and i will continue to the same circuitry in our upcoming video till then you should have to absorb the concepts which are related to the exclusive or that if the value of a is zero the output will be equal to b if the value of a at the input of the exclusive or gate equal to one the output will be the inverted version of the so uh, that's it for uh, today i will continue it from the same uh, point and we will see that how it can be handy in using the digital logic circuits thank you so much and i will see you soon.